Hey everybody, we're back. I'm still, I'm loving the weekly. Here's what else I'm loving. Big Beaver, if you know what I'm saying. And then, a moth that beats their moth, or ties their moth, I should say. And then the beaver just chilling, just chilling. We'll be the pink pots. Pink pots. Pepper pots? What are, what, it, wait, I, so, I, where's the joke? I don't know. I'm still, I'm running it through. I was like, pepper pots. Things you find in Malf's garden and also Gwyneth Paltrow's character in Iron Man. The Iron Man film franchise. This is Iron Man cinematic universe. Okay, you know what? We're going big beaver again. I can't believe it either, but here we are going big beaver. I would accept a level two moth because it would allow us to get another level please please i don't stress my early game shops they are what they are you can't you can't always control it you can't ever control it i guess moths appear to be sticking around let's give them the ability to trade thank you so much a moth upgrade i'm not really thrilled with the food situation however i do think that a rabbit gives you a rare amount of scaling that doesn't tend to exist until later in the game. HP scaling pretty hard to come by this week. Okay, mothy moth. You've you've remothed me. You've remothed. We lose this one. Give me some bacon. Give me some croissants. Give me some bacon. Sell me. Buff me. Buy me. I'm not sure about this one. Move the rabbit to the front. Move you a little bit further back. Temporary foods. Okay, we're going to get two levels next turn. That in and of itself is very good. This would be an amazing time to get a draw. Like, for real? It would be an unbelievable drawing opportunity. I Crunching the numbers here, I don't see how we could possibly win. But maybe this is where it pops off. Salad could go hard here, too. Okay, how about one of these? One of these. Mantis? Yes. Simple. Yes. We're gonna... Combine our mods again. At some point, we're gonna utilize this rabbit. I swear it to you. Um, you really don't need the extra attack. If anything... So we're gonna kill you. We're gonna keep the rabbit at the front. I think we probably still lose this round just because we have so little hp but then we stack up as many foods as we can stack we can draw we go in okay thank god for the three squad now feed the mantis eat eat i hate you but there you go. Okay, and then get another sound. I'm telling you, this HP scaling over time. <laughs> it's gonna, it might take a while, but over time, there's a little something to it, okay? They got snails. Come on, there's no... I might draw snails. There's no way I'm losing to snails. Here we go. Here we go. The mantis has started. It's, it's compound interest, baby. It's a great time to have a bison. It's another scaler. Do not ignore it. Ignore it at your own peril. First off, though, well, because I, what am I going to kill? Yeah, we got to think about it. Maybe we kill a rabbit, add a bison, and then salad. It's still free HP. It's still free HP. Now, bison, you're the weakest unit. You go to the front for now. We can never get rid of the moth. I want to get that through my head. We can never get rid of the moth. Now, we don't need to buy foods um, for the rabbit scaling. How did our rabbit work? I would give it like a, I don't know. I would give it like a, th a two and a half out of five in, in terms of the efficacy that it provided to me. But it's, you know, we, we had to spend a lot of money on other stuff that showed up as well. It's not all the rabbit's fault, okay? You should probably take this. You, sh you should take this. You should get a turtle. Honestly, I'm going to make you fish for the turtle. I still don't really like you at the... I still like you at the front, honestly. And if I have to kill a deer, then I have to kill a deer. For one turn, may, maybe less, maybe more, go ahead and take a croissant. I'm not... Look, again, it's not spend your gold as efficiently as possible. It's called Super Auto Pets. 
get to 10 wins edition. So I'm going to try my best. And right now, this is when our, we're peaking. This is like being the high school quarterback and we're playing in the homecoming game, okay? So let's enjoy it while it lasts. Something has to be killed, and we're going to add cockroaches, I mean caterpillars, to the team because they're going to scale at the same speed as our mantis or our bison, which means I was going to... Okay, the, the beaver has to get sold. There's just no space for it anymore. Two caterpillars exist, and then the bus gets killed. And now you inherit the moth attack for now. You're gone. I could wait a turn and not... I don't know. Does that make sense? Wait a turn? Why? So you can roll better? Seems stupid. Place me. Get killed. I still like the order here. I know it looks backwards. You're going to level so fast that your head's going to explode. Which means we're, we're basically going to have three good units. And there's going to be equipment on them. That's better than usual for me. And our, our moth strats have proven incredible so far. If you'll allow me the, the dignity of being braggadocious against Poo Poo Magoo. That takes us to five. Okay, now another bison. Thank you so much. That's great. That's great news. Okay, I, I respect and appreciate that. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Roll once. Something's got to die. We can't get rid of a tier three yet. So let's, let's just take a sniper. I think it's the best unit available. Helps our mantis keep scaling. The moth, or the caterpillar tends to one for one thanks to the moth. That's about to change. Killed their lionfish though. Call me crazy. We can win this one. We can at least draw. We can win this one against Duty Head. What's up with these names, man? Okay, it's thrilling. You're about to level up. I'm not buying three ants just to get an extra 2-1 buff on top. That's, that's madness. And Sparta all wrapped up in one. Let's give some stats. Wish it hadn't gone to the Caterpillar, but it is what it is. Let's give some stats to our best unit. Let's freeze you roll once. I would say nothing better here to kill. I also, I, I don't know. I don't think the moose really makes that much sense here. Although we could sell a moth next turn to fit it. I don't know. Maybe it would be better. I'm willing to admit it's possible. I, I'm making a mistake here. This would be a great team that, for me to have some lemon. As I do not have some lemon, we will be killed. And that puts us on lethal. I mean, like you come back to earth real quick. Now you're going to be 30-24, though, which is pretty amazing. Nothing worth killing. It's such a small stat increase right now, but you are a killable unit in a pinch, I suppose. You could kill an eagle, but I think I'd rather just get some permanent stats. We could sell a moth. I don't think selling a moth for eagle makes sense. However, it's a wild one. I think we pray that we live this time. Yeah. And then you can get out a one up. Well, we lost the stats in the mod. Not a big deal, but probably means that our bison should be up front. We, next turn, we get a one up walrus out there and basically just try to create a squad of like 50-50 death touch. So it would be like, we really need the mantis to be at the front for this to make any sense. But I, I think, I think. And then it would be like this. Even though you have a melon, man, garlic would go off on you. But let's give you the garlic for now. I would freeze this still. It's not the best food on earth, but it might be the best food available right now. We're going to get a lot of death touch override coming back here, but that's I, I'm not sweating that, okay? It, the death touch, even if it hits the lemon, it's better than the lemon. Most of the time. And it didn't hit the lemon anyway, so keep your comments in your pocket, okay? That takes us to eight. This is a very, it's a stressful run, okay? Now it overwrote the lemon, which is actually still fine, I think. 
I'm looking for a one-up, really. Soft serve. I sleep. I'm telling you, man. I actually think lemon on you goes off. And I know, I know that it might get overridden immediately. But I would pay three gold for one turn of lemon at this stage of my life. I just, cause, cause the only builds you see from other people, and I, this is not a hater comment. Once you get this late in the game, the only builds you see are summons, chickens, and caterpillars, which is basically we're a caterpillar team. So the what works against them is is what we just got. This lemon is is the only thing that gives us the chance to stand a chance. And I think we're still gonna lose, possibly, probably. No more. No more. No! Oh my god. Freaking summon teams, man. We were we were close. We were we were knocking on the door there. A little bit of difference in death touch there, and, and who knows. That was good. I, I feel like, if nothing else, we learned a lot there. I, and I like this team, okay? Because we can do this, and we can bake in our Marmoset. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Be a orange stinker, <laughs> if you don't mind. If, if you would allow me the dignity, again. Moth trades with Moth. Ant loses to Cricket. I'm dead. It's all right, because we... It, you, you can't win with a marmoset until your marmoset's baconed, okay? Everybody knows that. It's written in the constitution somewhere. Want something like that, and then we're popping you out next time. Like this, like this, okay. Again, my advice for the weekly this week. Don't sweat the small stuff. And what's the small stuff? Your first few rounds are small stuff. No offense. One of these days, we're going to get the ant luck we've, we've so desired. Not today, though. I think it's like an 80% chance that the ant passes it to an adjacent unit, and a 1% chance that it passes it to the unit you want it to go to. That's fine. Um, I would even go two levels here, see what you get. There's something to that. There's something, there's something to this, okay? Rawr. If we get an aardvark... Now we can start sweating it, by the way. But if we get an aardvark... This squad uh, is 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 got a chance. We're gonna lose this round. It's just, I mean, they're they're a team in transition, but they're a, they're a strong team in transition, and our bear did not help us. <laughs> it did it hindered us, but we would have lost anyway. Ardvark me, no Ardvark, huh? Buff me, buff me. Roll for an Ardvark. I'm not going deeper on the moth at this point. Wombat. I always think that you're an Ardvark, but you're not an Ardvark. You're a freaking wombat. What am I supposed to do with this, man? Now, bizarrely, this round, it doesn't matter too much if we lose. Except that I would very much like to not lose. Because that would mean that we would win. <laughs> which would get us closer to 10, which is our ultimate goal. But, okay, it's a draw. Did you see that, by the way? Their Wombat copied my bear, and then I copied their Wombat. That was, that was a stroke of luck for us. So, I don't know. You can take this. Aardvark me. It's probably not good to be in a situation where you feel like the only way you can win is to find one specific unit in the shop. That's kind of where we're at, though. By the way, I say it doesn't matter. Not out of a misguided sense of nihilism. But rather because... My meat? My meat? Um... Rather because of the fact that we were on six life, and if we lost, we went down to two. Or, sorry, we went down to four. Now we lost, we went down to three. So that one actually mattered to lose. And we're in danger of getting zero wins here. Squirrel, just what I needed. Hmm, you know what would really hit the spot here? Uh, none of these animals at all is the answer. Time to die. Um, this is not like a deliberate throw. I just, I mean, it's round six. We got a 15-9 Marmoset and, and nothing else? Like, nothing else? Oh my god, we're gonna live? We're at least gonna live. And we're gonna win a round. No, we're gonna draw. Okay. The prophecy is still going. Could still get zero. Please. Please. A Lynx has... A certain je ne sais quoi. Why don't you move to the front now? 
I think you you've you've earned it. You deserve it. Second from the front, so that we can override their front unit garlics and stuff. I feel like we have to take a caterpillar just in the hopes that like maybe we scale. I copied your turtle. I don't know how I feel about that as we as we sit here right now. Hold on. Two wins? Wait, no, one win? We didn't get goosed. Sell me. Buy me. I do feel like a deer is quite good. I just don't know. Um, like, if I could pill an ant and that was sell the bear, get a deer. I'll admit, or sell the sell the bear, get a deer. Yeah, I, I don't think the deer's doing, the bear's doing that much for us right now, but... Oh no, we've made their kangaroo into a super soldier. But you're gonna pass back the bee! You passing back the bee saved me! Thank you! Okay, that's beautiful. The bear actually played a serious role there. There's just no way I could have possibly predicted it. Okay, two of you? Okay. Honest, I mean... Give it a roll. But just one. That's, I'm, that's all I'm willing to do. You're an 8-6. And you're basically, you're kind of like a 9-6. I hate to say it, man. I, but I, you're more flexible, though. Not really. You know what? We'll sell you because we could still pill you later. And then the only unit I wanted it to hit is the only one it didn't hit. Let's run it back. Don't even bother calculating the odds. I don't want to know them. Uh, I don't think we can beat this team. That kangaroo is going to get too strong. It's already too strong. The flies are also They're quite helpful for you. Fair enough. Okay. Um, well, that was horrible. Uh, let's try again. That did not go well. It, this is it's still fine. Don't get incepted into taking a moth. The stats are what matters. Stat me. Anti-moth technology. Forget a beaver. Let me be the underwhelming... Miffed, miffed aunties. That's perfect. They did not take a moth. That's the danger of anti-moth technology. If they don't take a moth, you look like a fool. Let's go for it. It's a lot of stats. Normally, I'd wait for the level up, but that's a lot of stats. It let us get a stork, which is honestly kind of sick to begin with. I would freeze an ant as like a just in case me. I love our order too. I think it's this is a good looking squad for right now. I would be surprised if we don't win. Even before I saw their team, I was like, it should be pretty good. The problem is now these units have a lot of stats. It's harder to say no to them when we gotta start cutting, but so dromedary helps your pivoting skills. Let's let's get that out there. And you know what? Let's say an ant. Nah, something's got to go. Someone's got to be the sacrificial lamb. Um, and honestly, you're looking kind of strong, brother. Why don't I just do that? And then we'll actually take another ant just to have to fill out the squad. I'm trying to focus the buffs on units that might provide a little bit more utility in the, in the early game. Which is, I would say, where we are right now. Save. We're going to win this one. And the dromedary is going to make our pivoting a little bit easier. Like, it's hard to pivot from a 4-5 Marmoset on turn 3. But it doesn't take long for that to change. So why don't you take a, a buff that keeps going? I don't really want to sell you into a 4-6 Elephant, personally. I think we can do better. I think we can invest in a Croissant. Next is Tier 3 foods. Salads and garlic. Nobody needs either right now. Let's freeze two Bacons. I would love this. We do want a pill. Hard to get with a fully frozen shop, but I feel like we're, we're playing the shops that we're given right now instead of just endlessly rolling. This looks tough. That's a very strong uh, frilled dragon. This is just a very strong team in general, honestly. God, I hate losing to frilled dragons. It's basically just a flex. It's like, hey, check out how awesome my shop was. Now I run it myself, of course. Buff me. That's fine. I didn't want it to hit the ant. I would say mission accomplished. Give me two of these. Roll me. I do wish to pill you next turn. You're going to get pilled. 
Still waiting for a... Uh, for some kind of build around or... Any form of positivity in general. <laughs> Steal the meat! Insane value! Please tell me we don't lose. We win! We couldn't have asked for a better drop from the from the stork. Get pilled. Certainly to me, seems like you could rework a lot of the squad. You could sell your marmoset. Run a turtle in front of your dromedary that then has a kangaroo behind it. And then, I gotta be honest with you, man. Stat me. The, and then when the otter reaches max stats, it's a lot easier to sell. Holy. I don't even know if that's good, but... Oh, sorry, when not max stats. When it reaches max level, it's easier to sell. Because there's no future upside. No cavalry's coming to save you. Camel, holy cow. Hold on, it's okay. You didn't steal any food from me. We had exactly the right math at exactly the right time. I'm starting to feel like luck's on my side a little bit. That takes us to four. We buy and buy. And... And sell and buy, and buy, and then we pill you next time and the shark gets uh, the 2-2. Two -two. I was trying to figure out how to make the econ work to do it this turn. We have to wait one turn, but the shark is like, I don't think this is too controversial, is probably the best unit in the game for this weekly. Math me, math me. Beautiful. It's it's so good that I almost want to apologize for taking it. But I'm not gonna. So pill me. And then... I mean, honestly, somebody still has to keep scaling. A whale that eats a stork to make your shark better is not so bad. I know we lose the stats. I would prefer to think of it as it, it's giving the stats to a different unit, maybe? Does that sound sensible? We could probably can. I think we are a little understated, but like a level two shark, lemon on the shark, I don't know, maybe a, a fly shows up at some point. We can be the scumbag that we complain about all the time. It's kind of like, it's a dream come true. Oh my God, they, they, you could not have asked for a better, uh, what, the, what the heck is happening? They couldn't have asked for like a better summon out of my stork for that kangaroo to just go off. That's pain. But this is not pain. This is not pain at all. Roll me. So the bear helps out the shark. My personal opinion is it's a little too late for that. I think what we want is, we want to see flies, we want to see eagles. Those are the big ones. Okay, this camel's gonna ruin my life. It's gonna make this eagle so strong. At least they don't have a kangaroo behind it, so th there is that. Come on, man! Hold on, this is actually not that bad. It's not perfect. It's, it's not that bad. What did I tell you? That's the power of a shark. We literally got bodied until the last unit showed up, and that's the only thing that mattered. Okay, truth be told, a Mantis can kind of go off here. May, I was thinking that we just go. No, I think I think I think it is Mantis. We get the permanent buffs. You never. We could go to round twenty-two. Okay, so we Mantis into killing a stork, and I'm like, I'm not sure about about this kangaroo. Okay, we need a lemon. It frees me. Lemons. You know what? I'm mixing it up. Still no lemons. A level 2 deer can really screw up an enemy. If not by killing their units, by killing equipment. Well, basically just a melon. But still, that's not worth nothing, man. That's worth something. Okay, shark. It's, for now, it's not about, like, living. Honestly, it's just about our shark being able to get a kill. Please! Please! 
I don't think that a turkey is the way to go, honestly. Just to, like, the unit itself is not that bad. But a turkey out there just to make, like, two buses maybe or one bus better, I sleep. And I think we have to sleep on a pair as much as I wish we didn't. A fly has to come out there. And now, now we're in fully insane O mode. So we're going to kill our strongest unit. <laughs> with the mantis why would i do this just just shut it okay it I, i've read the theory i know that this seems insane but they laughed at a lot of people some of whom had very bad ideas but some of whom ended up going on to change the world come on come on hit me i want you to hit me come on they got their own shark hold on their shark's better than mine that seems bad no 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 no, 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 no. Okay, we draw. We draw. We draw. <laughs> I think we're, we're getting that permanent scaling. You're dead, obviously. So that's the scary part. That's the scary part right there. A little fly. We get a little gold back. How about that? Okay, we need a, a good killable unit. A, a mammoth is perfect. Fits the bill. I still want to see lemon. It does not exist. So I'm going to garlic my shark. It's a strange sentence. Try saying it yourself. An eagle can come out next round. I need lemons. One up is always interesting if you're going to run a mantis at the front. We do not have enough stats to feel confident going into this round. I wish that, they, that we did. Their team is so much better statted than mine. Holy cow. Do you see what they have? But you know what they don't have? <laughs> they don't have a shark at the back. That's not going to matter. It turns out that's not going to matter too much. That's a strong team, man. We got the six. It's okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We hit a bit of a bit of grit there. And I'll see you next time. See ya.